welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Rhonda, better known as Hot Mess Mom MD. On today's video, this is one that y'all requested. You guys have asked me to put together my favorite Shop Hush eyeshadow palettes. And if you guys haven't seen my beauty room tour thingy, you guys know that I have an entire drawer filled of Shop Hush eyeshadow palettes all that good stuff. So I had a lot to choose from. I did narrow it down to, let's see here, eight palettes. So if you're interested to see what my favorite eyeshadow palettes from Shop Hush are, then let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat, this is actually a video that I filmed today talking about this palette, actually with this eye look. This is the Midsummer Nights palette. This is by Bad Habit. It does retail for $16. It is a total of 30 eyeshadows. Now, I do believe this is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Natural palette, which I don't think you can get anymore. I could be wrong, but it um, wouldn't be the first time. But anyways, this is a nice option, I think. Well, I think all these are, but this especially if you are new to makeup, whether you are a teen, an adult, what have you, this is a great palette to choose from because it is a lot of neutrals. You, there's a lot of highlight shades in there as well as transition shades. And then just to deepen up the crease just a little bit, they have those in there as well. Now I will tell you guys, it is predominantly more of a shimmery type of palette versus like all mattes and things like that. But I still think that there is enough mattes in there even if you do have mature skin, that you can make this palette work. And again, it's $16. I don't think you can pick it up on the website though. I think it's an app only type of thing, but that's okay because on the app, if you go in and you check in every single day, things like that, and click your little hush check-in, you do receive rewards that you can use towards purchases. Okay, so the next one I wanna talk about is their nice little nine pan palette here. This one is called After Party. Now this is a dupe and I actually did a video on it. Is it a dupe or just a waste of money up against the Huda Beauty palette? And I felt like this was an excellent dupe for that. Now I know you can get like all four of the little mini palettes like this for $30. That's the way I personally purchased it. I don't know if they're 10 or $12 a piece by themselves, but um, even though the one, um, I want to call it Aftershock. Let me grab it right quick. Yes, it is called the Aftershock palette. Now, I would tell you guys, this is a crazy palette, and I know this isn't part of my favorites, but I just feel like this is a great option for like pops of colors. So my whole point to this is, instead of just purchasing one by itself, I honestly would purchase all four of them if you can for $30. If you have saved up your Hush Rewards points, you can get like up to, I think it's like 10, if not more dollars off on that set and you know, get it down to like $20 for all four of them. For me personally, that's the way I would do it. This is not a palette that speaks to me hardly ever, but if you want some fun pops of colors, like these blues are absolutely gorgeous. This purple, I mean, it's a really pretty palette. It's just, I think the biggest thing are these like neon pinks orange and yellows that really wake me out and I'm like whoo but anyways this after party one is definitely one of my favorites it's the standard type of bad habit packaging same kind of formula it's gonna have some kick up or kick back whatever you want to call it in it it's gonna have some fallout all of these palettes are like that just make sure to tap your brush really really well you're not gonna have that bunch much of a problem but I love these nudes and this shimmer Ooh, the shimmer glitter is just so so pretty I don't know why I'm swatching Anywho, moving on. This is one that was talked about a lot and then just kind of went away, and that's the Inferno palette. This is an excellent dupe for the Naked Heat palette, which again, I did. Is it a dupe or just a waste of money on? This palette is amazing. I bought it for my daughter. I purchased it for some friends. I love this palette. I mean, if you love warm tones, you're going to love this palette, guys. This is pretty, and this one I believe, I'd have to double check, I probably should have double checked all these prices prior to like starting the camera, but let's be honest, I don't do that. I don't, I, I just am like, oh, these are the favorites, let's talk about that. I wanna say this is a $12 Bad Habit palette, so 
I'm going to check that for you guys real quick. But I will tell you, it is a total of 12 shades. This is, again, a bad habit formula. You're going to have the same type of kickback, fallout, all that good stuff. But all of these are very pigmented shadows. I feel like they're very easy to work with. Um, I don't have an issue with blending them out and then they disappear. I don't have an issue with them like muddying up or anything like that. I just feel like they work really, really well. And they're wonderful for your pocketbook. So anyways, I was able to pull this up on Bad Habits app site and it does look like these little minis retail by themselves for $10. So you do save $10 if you do purchase all four of them for the $30. As far as the Inferno palette, that is $12. So again, great pricing on that. Now, next I want to talk about the Bad Habit Aura palette, or Aura, sorry. The Aura palette. Now, this is a 14 color palette. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette, I believe it's a Either way, I did a video on it. Is it a duper just to waste some money? And I loved it. I think it's a great palette. I think it's a fun palette. And it's definitely different than my standard neutral, warm tone, comfortable colors. You know, I think that I don't go too crazy bold or anything like that. But ooh, you guys, this color right here is so pretty. All of them are really, really pretty. Now, I will tell you guys, this energy yellow shade, it's... It's not my jam, but the other shades are really pretty, and you can actually create multiple, multiple looks with this palette, believe it or not. Okay. So, like I said, this is a $12 palette. Moving on to the Soft Glam Dupe, the Arabesque, or however you want to say it, because Mama's got dyslexia, and I don't even enunciate half the English words correctly. And you guys had a heyday in my video over that. So, anywho, moving on. This is also a 14 pan palette. This one does retail for $16. So it is the same price as these 30 shadows in the mid, uh, Midsummer Night palette. But this is a wonderful dupe. Um, I didn't have an issue with it at all. Same as all the other ones. No issue with the build, building up of the shades, the pigmentation, longevity, anything like that. It's a beautiful palette. The shades are right up my alley. So again, perfect. So another bad habit, which this seems to be, okay, I just realized every single one of these are bad habits. Wow. But this is the Solstice Palette by Bad Habits. This is a 15 shade palette. This one I do believe, let me check, because again, I forgot my pricing on this. This does retail for $16. This is a wonderful dupe for the Natasha Denona Crazy Expensive $129 Sunset Palette. This is pretty, you guys. I think that, oh, I just love it. I love the warmth to it. I, knew, I know I keep saying that I think cool tones are going to be like the 2018 special, and I'm slowly transitioning myself to cooler tones. But my heart is with warm tones right now. And honestly, this yellow in here, this doesn't scare me. And I've used it as a transition shade. It's really pretty, believe it or not. So I think if you have like golden brown eyes, oh my gosh, this palette's going to be gorgeous. Whether you have blue or green eyes, I think it's going to be pretty. But this yellow, I just feel like this yellow on like golden brown eyes is just going to pop and look absolutely gorgeous. So anyways, this is one of my favorites as well as... The two dupes for the Huda Beauty. The first one we're going to talk about is the Athena palette. Now, this is a dupe for the Desert Dusk Huda palette. This is really pretty, too, guys. Um, these are more the purples in here that you see. I feel like they're just more of the warm. Sorry if I'm blinding you. The warmer purples versus, like, cool tone purples, if that makes any sense. But, anyways... Now, this palette is still, all these palettes, as of right now, when I'm filming this video, they are available. They're not sold out or anything like that. Now, um, I'm definitely making sure to look up the price on this because I know that they've changed it since I purchased it. It does look like both of these palettes are $14 on their app right now, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It's an 18 pan palette, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, honestly, this is more pigmented. Look at that than in the actual Desert Dusk palette. I just keep swatching everything. Do you guys see that? It's definitely very glittery. It's not a shade that I honestly use a lot, if at all. Maybe once or twice. 
but it's really pretty and I found that it was definitely more pigmented than in the Huda Beauty one. The last palette I do want to talk about again is an 18 pan palette. This is the Aphrodite or Aphrodite palette. I actually just did another look for you guys with this palette. That is something that I'm trying to produce more videos for as showing you guys not just a one and done type of look with these palettes but to go back and recreate other looks just to give you guys like more ideas and things like that. I'm not the one like I'm not really good at like looking at palettes and like, oh, I could do this look and this look and this look. I literally have to play around. So when I'm playing around and things like that, I flip on the camera and hope to help you guys out as well. But this is actually a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured or whatever it's called palette. I don't know how it compares to the brand new one. Um, I've kind of thought about picking the new one up. It is $65. But I did think about picking that one up and comparing it to this one because when I compared it to now the old one, um, I actually love this better than the Huda Beauty one. So it makes me wonder with the new revamped one if I would still like this one better because the pigmentation was insane. I'm telling you guys, like if she upped her game to what the shimmers and the foils and things like that in here or whatever it is, then she has a good palette. But still, this is $14. I know for a while there it was 10, 12, 14, whatever, but still definitely to for me personally, it's better than the $65 palette. Okay guys, so I was trying to make a quick video. I know I talk a lot, so I was trying to condense it down, but these are my favorite palettes that I do recommend. I know I literally just realized they were all the bad habit ones, so I apologize for that. I do did do a video with the Oakland Lime Crime dupes. That was a good one as well, but these are the ones that I feel like when I'm going to my Shop Hush drawer of palettes, these are the ones that I always always will reach for even if I'm just using one or two shades out of each one so this is that's why they won that's why I talked about them so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as please help me out share my link to my channel share my video all that good stuff and last but not least if you'd like to see more of my videos because I do upload five days a week Monday through Friday make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that little post notification bell right next to it that way you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. So as always, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye.